Hi everyone, my name is Nancy Yuan and I'm a first year MBA student at the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania. Prior to Wharton, I was from New Zealand and came to the US to do my undergraduate degree. I then went on to work in consulting at Bain & Company in their Sydney office. Now I'm back here as a Molas Fellow. I'm here to show you a day in my life. We're currently on the eighth floor of Huntsman. This is where we have some special events with alumni, sponsors, recruiters, and things like that. I think for business school, people come in with a clearer understanding of what their skill sets are and what they want to really improve on to get to the next stage in their career. So I think during undergrad, especially at a liberal arts college, there were so many classes to choose and really explore, and at business school, every class will teach you a more specific skill as opposed to just learning some content. So I think the cool thing about Wharton is that employers know that you're going to have very strong analytical skills because we all have what's called the core curriculum. So everyone has to take statistics, accounting, corporate finance and uh, economics. But then beyond some of these core classes, there's what's known as flex core. Within marketing, you can choose some options that's more tailored to your needs. And once you've gotten these kind of fundamental skills that you need for any business person, you're then able to take the ones that really interest you. For example, in my case, I'm interested in social impact. So I'm able to take some classes on impact investing or other ESG related topics, in addition to things like negotiation skills or corporate board governance. During undergrad, I wasn't the typical business major, but what I wanted to do was to keep my options open. So I actually applied for what is known as the MOLIS Advanced Access Deferred Admissions Programs, and some schools call it 2 plus 2, where after your undergrad graduation, you're able to work for at least two years and then you come get your two-year MBA degree. So for me at the time, I wasn't even sure if I would take this offer in the end, but I thought at least having this offer in hand meant that when I did want to go to business school, the offer would be there ready. I wanted to come to business school because not only am I learning a lot of very applicable skills, but it's also the people that I meet. Everyone here is so passionate and dedicated and they all come with their own unique experiences. You have people who have been veterans, you have people who have actually started their own startups, people who have come from investment banking. And so in those class discussions, it's very rich discussions where we learn about different people's experiences and talk about how they would have resolved different things that they would have encountered in a particular business scenario. And I find that super valuable and this is the kind of exposure you do not get just from reading from a textbook. So we're currently in the courtyard of Huntsman and this is oftentimes where we can come hang out, have some coffee chats with people you want to learn about the industries, just get to know them, or just for lunch you meet up with your friends out here. I think outside the classroom it's very collegial and social, especially after being in the workforce. Just to give you an example, we have a group chat of about 400 students in what's known as foodies at Wharton. Someone will say, hey, I just got a reservation at this hard to book restaurant, got two more spots, who wants to come along? Even if you haven't even met them before. It's a great way to meet friends and really just goes to show how willing people are to have these kind of experiences and get to know each other. And I think that's kind of the key part of the MBA experience, the people you're here with. At Wharton, academics really is just one one of the many things you do. And to give you an example, we have what's known as grade non-disclosure. So employers don't even know what grades you got. So that takes pressure off of people to really try to get the straight A's like you would have done in undergrad and gives you time to go to recruiting events, meet people and join clubs. And when I talk about clubs, there really is a club for everyone. If not, you can start one. In my case, I'm on the board of the Wharton Social Impact Club, and I'm also on Wharton Impact Venture Associates. And so that's sourcing different social entrepreneurs and connecting them with funding through Wharton. I'm also on the board of Wharton Human Capital Club. So these are some of the more professional 
side. And then for the social side, I'm in Wharton Poker Club. And actually a highlight was coming third in a charity poker tournament. I'm also part of the tennis club and so uh, you meet different people to play tennis with and actually through the club I've made other great friends and we actually play tennis outside of the tennis club as well now. So we're currently in a classroom in Huntsman Hall. The application process for business school is almost a bit like the undergraduate application in the sense that there's some essays you write, uh, but rather than just more of those philosophical questions, it's more uh, centered on your experience. For example, you know, what has been the most impactful experience that you've had, or what are you hoping to gain from the MBA? And in addition to that, the interviews uh, vary. So some of it will be more of like a job interview. So unlike the undergraduate interviews, which is more with alumni and it's more just to get to know you, for business schools, it's generally with an admissions officer and it's more running through kind of what's on your resume and what you're trying to get out of the degree. Actually for Wharton, it's the only business school that has a TBD, a team-based discussion. And so you're actually in an interview with five to seven other uh, applicants you have never met before, there's no collusion beforehand, and you're given a prompt. Not only do you have to work as a team to come up with a solution, you actually then present your uh, final answer to the admissions um, staff member. And this actually is a way to imitate the kind of work you'll do once you're at Wharton. There's a lot of team discussions, there's a lot of teamwork, and so part of the process they want to see, are you a team player? Can you actually work effectively with others? The advice I have would be to actually start the process early. Not only do you have the recommendation letters that you need, there's also the tests, either the GMAT or GRE you need to take, but actually it's thinking about the candidacy you want to build up, what kind of experiences and skills you want before you actually come into the program. And I think especially for those who are actually in high school or even uh, in college, it's not too early to think about an MBA. And especially in my case, for these deferred programs, you actually apply in your senior year of uh, college. And so uh, now is actually a good time to apply. I think the best thing about Wharton is its people. Even though there's almost 900 classmates just in the first year MBA program, there's someone to really support you. Even if it's a niche career interest, you've got someone's had that experience. Whether it's a company you want to reach out to, whether it's a geographic location you want to be placed at, you have a lot of classmates and a wealth of experience you can draw upon. And I think having so many classmates is so many opportunities to make new friends as well. And these are the people who support you throughout your career for the rest of your life. I think the most surprising thing about Wharton is how friendly everyone is. Because when you normally think about business school, you have this idea of people in suits, uh, being very cutthroat, but actually at Wharton almost feels like a big family. Uh, everyone's very supportive. And I think part of this is because there's so many social activities, so many ways to really get to know each other outside of the classroom too. If you like this video and you want to learn more about top universities, please like and subscribe.